five, four, three, two, one, sink. sink. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TTV Podcast, episode 225. Marty Gras. I'm Mesa. I'm Ryderan. I'm LJ. I'm Jonathan. I'm Fluffy. I'm Takuma Nuba. And I'm Tenebrae Invictus. And hello, everybody. That was such a boring intro. Hi. Hi. You're so such a boring person. Where's the drama at? You want drama? Yeah. Save your drama for your mama. Where's Vin the Shout Mardi Gras? At? What is up, time. TTV Nation? This is Drama <laughs> <laughs> and let's get right I, I into, the news. into the news. I never realized how much I wanted Construction Keemstar to be a thing until now. A construction Keemstar would be amazing. What's Keemstar? You do a stop motion Keemstar drama alert show. Yeah, that would take. We how could about we just don't do stop motion? <laughs> Considering how long it takes stop motion to come out, especially on our end, it'd be a worthwhile thing. Yeah, up until Keemstar sees it. What's a Keemstar? He's the drama guy on YouTube. He's a gnome. Not really. That's he does. What's a joke. Bruno Mars? Oh, it's a chocolate. I mean, bar. if he's a drama guy, that would be why I've <laughs> never heard of him. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I could see, like, I mean, not he's a very controversial him. YouTuber. I prefer right. to fill my life with at least a little bit more useful things. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, okay, I don't think anyone here watches the Kardashians, but we all know who the Kardashians yeah, are. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's I don't like watch Keemstar, but I know who he is. I don't watch Keemstar, I watch his friend Colossal's crazy because he's far more interesting. Wait, they're oh, friends? Uh, oh. They work together. I'm not sure if they're. Oh, are they Apparently. friendly? They're, friendly they're, is different than no. friend. Yeah, I, I mean, they, 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 they know friends. of each other. I did not know that. And they work together to on a podcast, like... but I'm not sure if they are friends or not. Yeah. Honestly, the Baited Podcast is one of the most entertaining podcasts I've I ever listened to. I still get to listen to. to it. Really, I love Colossal. Plug in. Kind of hate Team Star. Love Colossal, and I really want to hear the Baited Podcast, and I just haven't gone around to it, which are like sync. Okay. I'll find us a good episode. Yeah. F- yeah. Gosh, find, find a good dang. episode, we'll, we'll listen to it sometime. Have you okay, watched, right. have you I feel like I would one? enjoy it because it's like all the things I love. All right, guys, starting off our podcast by talking about way better podcasts <laughs> than you should be talking instead of ours. No, it's a baited podcast, a no. way better podcast than you should listen to. Apparently, yeah. Uh, How has everybody's week been? Oh my, it's finals week, man. So this no, week no. and next week are both finals week. Like I had finals this week, I'm gonna have finals next week. It's going to be crazy. I have reports. I have papers. I have presentations. All do. None of them finished. Some of them are late. It's great. It's so good. I don't miss that. Sounds amazing. Well, the Yeah, college is stupid, everybody. College, college sucks. College is hard. Here's, here's a life lesson for anyone listening to this podcast. Drop out as soon as you can. Drop out of college. <laughs> <or> start <laughs> a YouTube channel. That's it. That's your key yeah, to success. Yeah, drop out of college. No, 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 no. Drop, drop out. And you make a living doing Minecraft Let's Play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. People can't get enough of those no, Minecraft. No, drop out of high school no, no, no. while you're at it. No, it's right. reaction Drop out of high videos, school and then quit it's... YouTube after your videos only make like a couple. A hundred, a hundred views, views. Well, yeah. You know, so, reaction yeah. videos, if you're make a it's like fortune. the amount of views plus the amount of effort. Yes, do reaction videos, but only do reaction videos to other people's reaction videos. <laughs> so it puts you in this epic, unique niche. <laughs> or... Yeah, or, the reactionary reactions are the I best reaction so videos. Or you idea. could do like you could just do like YouTube poop video, or you do like meme videos. Oh, like, I love meme YouTube. videos. Like, meme videos are meme videos are great. Like the B movie trailer, but every word that starts with B is replaced by a bionicle. <laughs> Dude, that one's that's one that one's been exploding. I've seen that one posted like a million times. I know. Times. I made, and now there's like different kinds. I, I put it up. I'm gonna put it up my Twitter. Um, I made <laughs> I made that bionicle. yesterday. Uh, I yeah. know it's in different like you languages. Made one? Too. Yeah, I made one. It's what I just said. Wait. It's the B movie trailer, but every time every word that begins with B is replaced by bionicle. someone saying bionicle. And it's like <laughs> the bionicle <laughs> commercial. It's like wow. it, it's but it's not just the same bionicle. You got ones from French or France. Yeah, so you got bionicle, ones from Russia. Bionicle, you got ones bionicle, from like bionicle. bionicle. You got the bionicle from Paraka Bionicle. bionicle. <laughs> yeah, it's France, Russia. Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Your so I'm shady. Settle down here. Before we get into too much, I'm some shady, real shit, shady, blood, blood, lady. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, 
What? <laughs> I messed up his name every single time. <laughs> I said it differently every time. <laughs> Before we get into our topics for the week, I just want to let you guys know that if you want to talk about Bionicle, Lego, Keemstar, go B away. movie, whatever you want, it's a fun place to be to go to the TTV message boards at board.ttvpodcast.com. So go check it out. Full of dank memes. No memes. Memes are banned. Why? Those, we need to make we, 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 we need to legalize dank we we, the memes. Uh, weeds. Uh, <laughs> these dank weeds. <laughs> okay, so we're a family friendly podcast. <laughs> oh, are everyone we knows what it is. Are we now? We're supposed to Last be. Last I checked. No, who's mm. uh, it depends on the family at this point, I think. No, we listen, we met families at Brick Fair. Family yeah, their to family. Us. Some the, people there. actually listen to us at the dinner, like the dining room table. At the dinner table, at the dinner yeah. Table. Huh. Which, by the way, if you're doing that right now, hey, really? just be considerate. About we the should talk about something around. really gross, like puking and whatnot. <laughs> Talk uh, with your mouth no, full of do food. Not. <laughs> so we I got are food the worst influence on kids. Good grief. No, so be considerate. The one time people was around you. Maybe have headphones. <laughs> Although it's it's cool that I mean, like other people can hear us too. So it's like that's kind of cool, but like. Just be considerate. And lastly, go check us out on <laughs> Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the TV channel for early access oh, to our podcast boy. audio for $3 a month. More perks Yay. coming sometime before Armageddon. Okay, here's the thing. We're just... I mean, we have the perks we have figured the perks out. Figured we just have to actually... We're working. We're working on the video, and uh, it's being held up because of finals week. Because a lot of us have finals, and we have to finish those up before we can like vote. Full Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here playing Final Fantasy and not doing that. <laughs> Yeah, Var, here's your notes. Yeah, I like it, but it just needs more work. And I was like, okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, no, gonna... that's not true. I gave you I gave you some pretty sound advice All there. Right, it's I'm, too I'm serious, like, not I'm, enough jokes. I'm you drop the humor joke. like 30 seconds in. It's, wow. a, it's about a good minute in, if you include everyone else. I recorded it. Yeah, it was you recorded literally your part. 30 seconds in. You recorded in. your part, but not our part. Like, the whole cast I mean, is doing something. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Yeah, me neither. It's okay. No, I, 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 no I, I did I, I did record the whole part. Oh, you recorded, recorded everything? everyone's lines. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it right. was 30 seconds. It was me obviously delivering the lines, but yes. You need to redo it. I oh, hate cool. it. Oh, cool. Wow. Strong arm of the law. <laughs> Ouch. Family friendly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> President Hope <laughs> <Hulk laughs> Christian Jennings. <laughs> President Hope. Suicide Waterman, on the National wait. Law. Launch podcast. <laughs> Wait, oh, I didn't catch that. Oh gosh, man, I know, right? Oh man, it's just such a. Such I a know, shame. right? That was, was such a good in joke. What was an in joke? Wait, what? <laughs> I said, I said. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It was so inside of a joke. Only I got it. What? Okay. Okay. You know I, what? I, I think that just means you're crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm crazy too. But basically, I went va wait, and then I was gonna be like. Here you go, there's the voice line. Did anyone else hear oh. this? I, I, no. Messenac, please back me up on this one. I heard something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Come on, oh, oh, God. Be honest. You, Be honest with her. Don't don't let her... You sound like an NPC don't guy. Don't let her down like this. I heard something. No, I will be honest. I was browsing <laughs> the message boards at the time to check something, so I momentarily tuned out. So you literally <laughs> just heard something. You don't even know what we're talking about, do you? I did. I heard something. Okay. Meso, you're becoming a that, fully... This is Meso in a nutshell. He will be like, um, well, I heard something, even though he literally just meant, well, I was zoning out, but I heard noise in the background. <laughs> I don't Meso, I'm sure you something. said something. I don't want you to feel bad. I mean, there's a difference between hearing and learning, uh, listening. Meso, I, you're fully becoming a Skyrim town guard now. I heard something. <laughs> you know, honestly, I Skyrim a lot. So. Hey, I don't think Meso would be very good at witness testimony. Probably not. <laughs> I heard something. One of something. us could get murdered. <laughs> and Meso would just sit there going, Well, I saw something. <laughs> really, I was looking at the message boards and uh, didn't see the murder happening. But sure, I saw something in the background. I saw a person. What was the murder weapon? Well, it was something. It was shiny. There was uh, at least definitely oh, wait, a soda. thing <laughs> there. Hang on, wait. The you murder weapon job was... <laughs> Yep, nope, the murder weapon definitely was the last five minutes of Journey to One. Lego definitely killed Bionicle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're tying it back. Hey, real quick. When's, a, when's, a, when's story time? Does that come at the end again? Or does it come in the middle? I can, 
I mean, I could come whenever. So many people just stories. never actually are willing to tell your story. I'm willing you to say tell you my story. Stories. Every I'm episode, do it right it's now. like, hey, guys, you guys never let me tell my story. And then there's like awkward silences at like just a plethora of them in the middle of the podcast. Hey, we... you know what happened this week? Okay. What? So my <laughs> friend hit a naked guy in his car. <laughs> Why? Here, I'm gonna tell the story. Get arrested? <laughs> wait, did you say hit? Or wait, so wait, my wait, friend wait, is wait. driving. Did you down. say hid or hit? He, no, he hit. He hit a naked guy. I think somebody oh, has ran over a naked guy. He did not run over a naked guy. Committed murder, <laughs> everybody. Murder at twelve. No, no, now I know friends. how it feels like to be in politics. How old are you? Um, he was so my friend. My friend. Okay. He's driving home. Uh, he's driving home, or he's, he's driving home from work, right? Driving home Wrong. from work. Driving. All the cars in front of him start to like swerve and like slow down. He's like, "That's really weird." All right, and he, he didn't looks, take that. Like, so he just decides to not slow down or swerve. No, he actually, no, he he actually slows down. Um, he he slows down and he sees there's a guy running, and as he comes closer, he's like, "Dude, this guy's naked." And this <laughs> dude is like, "He's a pretty, he's a heavy set dude, you know." And he's oh. like running, and like the fat's like going up and down, jiggling in the wind, you know, like Santa Claus in the run. He's like, what's going on? So he slows down. Santa He's like Claus going, in the run? Yeah. <laughs> you should not have He's connected going... those images to you, though. <laughs> I'm blocking up my screen. Like that that <laughs> <laughs> my friend slows down. He's going like five miles an hour. He's like, what is going on? To like avoid hitting them. The, the fat dude stops, jumps in front of the car, and like slams his hand down on the, uh, on the, like the hood. And so my friend so like breaks... And he like, I mean, he hits him, but it's, he's going like five miles an hour and he's breaking. So it's like a little bump. Uh, and he's like, what's going on? And he like, and the, the, the fat guy make eye contact and oh. the fat guy like turns and runs past the car. And he's like, what, what, what is going on? My friend turns so, around. How the heck did it hide, did he hide in his car then? <laughs> Listen, what? turns around and he sees 10 nurses booking it <laughs> behind the guy <laughs> they're running wow. they're like they're like running as fast as they can they're like screaming <laughs> hollering at him and they all just run past my friend he's like looking they're chasing this fat dude he's going all the way down the, like the, this road <laughs> it's like and he's like what's going on pet dog alright two days later another friend of mine oh, driving his truck gets pulled over Siren, sirens. He pulls over. He's like, "Um, you sorry? What's going on, officer?" And the officer's like, "Listen, I, sorry, I don't mean you weren't speeding or anything. You're not in trouble. I just had to ask. Uh, have you by any chance seen a naked guy, <laughs> kind of chubby, <laughs> covered in blood, running down this road?" And my friend's <laughs> like, blood. "Nope." I definitely would have remembered that. Didn't see that anywhere. <laughs> the officer's oh, like, no, alright, thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank and so he goes back to my friend, and my friend's like, he wasn't covered in blood when I saw him. What happened <laughs> 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 two days? What happened in two days? Psycho. Like, since then, he ran from the nurses, and then now he's like apparently covered in blood running down this other road. You know, he's still you... on the run, except now there's blood involved. Thank goodness it was a mess, though, because he's like, I don't know, I might have saw something. This, to my, this sounds like the, the beginning of like a zombie apocalypse, movie. <laughs> right? He called, my friend called the police the first time, too. He was like, um, hey, so there's a, um, there's a naked guy running that, and the, the police officer's like, yeah, we know. <laughs> We've gotten about... Ten calls in the past five minutes about this guy, so we, we got him away. <laughs> and so the search continues. As far as I know, this guy's still at large, still running at naked. He's still at large. Covered, covered in blood. blood. Covered Someone's covered murdered. Blood. Someone has Someone, died. Someone, and okay, either someone has died, or he like did a thing from like the Revenant, where or he, he just like, got hit by another car. <laughs> 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 like, like he just kind of like scooped out blood from an animal and like slept in his carcass or something. Whoa, I don't know. He's a fat. What? He's a fat dude carcass. on the run from the. <laughs> <laughs> then he marked it on his calendar. <laughs> <laughs> in self defense, he used his sword. <laughs> I don't know where he kept it too, because he was. I mean, you know, where he kept it in the fat. The rules Maybe of fat. Maybe he was schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you see that guy mispronounced it's schizophrenic as she's your friend. Anyhow, that's the story. I don't know if the police can catch that guy, but I know who could probably <laughs> catch him. Spider Man. <laughs> what? Okay, what? A, what? What was that? What? I'm what? not. E 
I didn't even get the chance to say I still thought Kahi said hid instead of hit. But I, even when you said hit, you're still wrong. You didn't hit him. The man <laughs> hit the car. <laughs> He no, ran I mean, up the to car, the car and he okay, hit the no, car. He, here's what happened. He went. He ran up to the car and he hit the car first. But the car was still going, so my friend like braked as soon as he saw the guy was darting in front of his car. Cause he's, I mean, he's still like he's going really slow, but he's still going past the guy, you know, he's, or he's coming up to the guy and he's going real slow because he didn't want to hit him and stuff. But I mean, you know, so by the time the car does hit him, it's just like a very, it's like you know, the car just basically just barely bumps him. Impressive. Yeah, that's Very how he, that's how he told me the story. He was like, "I hit a naked guy," and I was like, "What?" Because that immediately drew me into the story. So I'm like, "I got to get out on the podcast." But long story short, yeah, naked people are on the run in my old hometown of Illinois, and uh, there's also possibly a murderous naked guy. <laughs> hometown of it, Illinois. It, it used to be a hometown. It's not Wait, anymore. Did you yeah, say yeah, no. possibly a murderous? Murderous. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly a murderous. That's a word. Look it up. Oh. No, I said possibly a murderous naked guy. M murderous is a <coughs> adjective. Oh, murderous. Yeah, that's uh, murderous. Murderous. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how I said it. I think you, now you do. You're reaching. For it no, it's like you didn't say it properly. I said it properly. <laughs> You said the word Quite murderous, yeah. but you didn't use it properly. No, I used it properly. You play it back, you hear my recording. Possibly I said, a murderous. I said, That's proper. I huh? said possibly a murderous naked guy. <coughs> I said there's a naked oh, guy okay. out there, possibly a murderous naked guy. That's what I said. So Spider-Man okay. Homecoming, am I right? Okay, man. You, Why, are, you oh really want to talk about man. that trailer. Okay, all right, fine. Like, these Listen, transitions you, are man. terrible. Yeah, okay. What do you guys think? I watched it again and again and again and again, and it's still a really good trailer. Um, we had a huge discussion about it and that it came out. Like, we, it was like an hour or so long discussion about Spider-Man. Yeah, we talked about all sorts of small stuff yeah. that needles at us. There's a lot of things needling at me. I, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna go back and forth on this, I know. I like the Tony Stark and Peter <coughs> relationship. I, I, I keep yeah, watching okay. it again and again, and I'm like, you know what? It is cool that he has, like, a bit of a, a mentor that's... But, like, the thing about this mentor, people about Tony Stark... Is he's the opposite of what um, Peter like should necessarily Uncle be learning ben. from, right? Because like Uncle Ben was like a really great father figure. He's like, oh, great power comes great responsibility. And Tony Stark's like, what? I'm super drunk right now. I didn't understand what you're saying. So, <laughs> not movie Stark though. He has he's only been drunk once in the universe. Yeah, I know. I'm like, he's more I'm, like I'm exaggerating sorry, I was for the about point. But like the, the idea is that like Tony Stark is like kind of like what Peter kind of maybe wishes he could be about <coughs> inhibition. Like he's he's basically like if. Without the the lesson, Peter Parker, you know, he wins the wrestling competition, and then he goes on, and he just uses his, you know, super genius to make a bunch of money. And then that's how Tony Stark is at the beginning of Iron Man. So, it was that thing where, like, you know, he's he was, he kind of had his great responsibility moment, but it happened when he was an adult, not when he was a kid. I think it's an interesting dynamic. I, I want to see that be explored further. Meh. As uh, far as the Tony Stark... And Peter Parker relationship thing. I think it's a situation where I would be. I'm fine with them pursuing it for the sake of the characters, so long <laughs> as they don't actually have it take away from Spider-Man's like independence as a character. Yeah. Like the, what I was talking about when we were talking about the trailers. Like, okay, so if it's Tony Stark being a mentor to Peter with the occasional Iron Man cameo, absolutely fantastic. But if it's a thing where Tony, about Peter Parker's trying so hard to beat the Vulture, and then all of a sudden Iron Man comes in and is like, "Don't worry, Peter, I got you back, man!" <laughs> and he starts putting a laser battle with Vulture. <laughs> yeah. Then Part I'd of the be like no, well, that would not work. Let's, to be fair though, I feel like a big common complaint with the Marvel universe is that the characters don't interact like enough. Like I feel like if we had Bruce Banner in Iron Man three, the movie would have been, uh, like you know, way better. Yeah, but that's Iron Man three, not Iron Man one. Yeah. No, no, I mean, that's fair. I'm saying that, like, but a lot of these new people coming in, a lot of the new guys, uh, I guess Doctor Strange didn't, but a lot of them are going to have some sort of element already introduced in canon. Spider-Man's already been introduced in Homecoming. Black Panther, uh, not in Homecoming, he's Civil introduced War. in Civil War. And Black Panther was, too, and there's definitely going to be, I mean, we don't know exactly, but uh, there, there has to be some connection with Black Panther uh, going forward. I'd wager Iron Bucky will be and, in Black yeah, Panther. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Uh, so... Yeah, I suppose. I, it's it's not so much Tony Stark just being in it as much as 
I'm afraid of the role they're going to be giving. It's the him. lines in the dialogue in the trailer that are giving me pause. Like he's like, yeah. "I'm so sick of him always treating me like a kid. This is right. my chance to prove myself." Well, well, and it's like okay. this sounds like a cliche story to be fair. about a kid trying to prove himself to his parents. To be yeah, fair, there's, exactly. there's two Parker things going on. He has no parents. <laughs> and the thing that I've always admired about Peter Parker is that he's always been very self reliant. He's he's kind of been forced to grow up really really quickly, and it, it it's weird that he now has this kind of weird father-son relationship with Tony that he doesn't have, and that's part of how he grows as a character, is that he doesn't have that father relationship, because both of his father figures were taken from him. One, because of his own mistakes, and kind of part of why he has to grow up and realize that, you know, the whole lesson of great responsibility thing, you know, it's because of the lessons he has to learn and the mistakes he's made that cost him that father figure. It's yeah. part of the, uh, the evolution of his character that I feel is important and is kind of being undermined by the this weird well, role that they're giving Tony Stark. <clears throat> well, Do we I mean, know in if the Uncle comics, Ben though, is alive in this movie? Uncle Ben is... There's no way Uncle Ben's alive. Uncle Ben's not alive. Man, let you say I mean, they would they would never do a Spider-Man movie yeah, where I Uncle mean, Ben is alive. They have the rice still. Yeah. yeah. The, Natural person Uncle Ben is no longer here. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Shut, <laughs> shut up. Uncle what do you rice. think, Uncle Ben? And they pan to like an Uncle Ben's well, I mean, rice okay, and spice. In the, comics, <laughs> in the comics, Peter does mention in Civil War, like the, the comic Civil War, not like the movie Civil War, that he does look up to Tony as a father figure. So it's not sure. unprecedented in the comics. It's not unprecedented, but there's also, what, like 200... 300 more issues in before Civil War happens, right? Maybe even more than that, like 400? If this was Spider-Man 3 or 4 in the MCU, yeah. starting to develop mm-hmm. a rapport with Tony Stark, I'd be like, you know what? Cool. It'd be different then, yeah. the yes. first movie. The first movie, it's weird to me. <laughs> well, okay, here's the, the last thing I will say about this is we also don't know. I feel like this trailer is heavily involving all the scenes of Robert Downey Jr. Because he's Robert yeah. Downey Jr. And they, you know, they want to have that star power pulled into the movie. Um, I feel like you would in correct. the, in Not the a actual movie, sample. I don't think it's going to be this heavy. I feel like our yeah, I feel like our our, feel, our fears are going to be alleviated. But we haven't <laughs> seen the movie yet. I don't know. Also, mm, Ned Leeds. I want to I, I want to talk about Ned Leeds they for cast, a second. They turned Gonka okay. into Ned Leeds. I, for <laughs> people who don't know, there is a new. There's another Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Miles Morales is formerly of the Ultimate Universe which is a separate universe, but it got merged with the main one because of Secret War, and a bunch of the supporting cast got brought in too. Miles Morales is a African-American Latino kid, uh, and his best friend is this Asian kind of overweight fat kid called Gonke. That sounds familiar, <laughs> who also kid. loves Legos. <laughs> He's <laughs> one or the other. Just, <laughs> that, just in case that, you didn't get it the first time. Is that, is that anything like a, a non-hearing deaf kid? <laughs> Yes, actually, it's very similar to, to that. A or a blind, non-seeing kid. <laughs> I mean, like you can be overweight, but like you know, this is—he's also fat too. Um, long story short, if that sounds familiar, <laughs> thank you. Holy cow! If it sounds I can't help you say stuff like this. I just, like, it's not. I mean, it's not that. Listen, okay, fine, sure. Have your laugh. Sounds familiar. It's because they replaced him in the movie with this other character uh, character called Ned Leeds. <laughs> All right, listen. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how I work like this. Overweight <laughs> fat character. The overweight fat character. <laughs> Okay. All that character development. Too many mistakes along the way. The overweight fat this is, character. This is, this is like this is the entirety of. It. Anyhow. Go Long on. story short, they replaced him with a character from the comics called Ned Leeds. Ned Leeds <laughs> is a reporter that eventually becomes the Hobgoblin. Ned Leeds is not Peter Parker's best friend. Ned Leeds has no connection really to Peter Parker as a whole. Ned Leeds isn't a fan of Lego. Who he, gets he, not, stuff. So yeah, it's it's a weird amalgamation <laughs> of different Spider-Man things where they've right. taken this one character who is not even I don't think he even exists in the six one six universe. He has no clue who Peter Parker is. Gonke. He's a friend he of Miles Morales. He, actually, Gonke does now, exist, and he knows who Peter. I I don't know if he knows who Peter Parker is, but he he knows this Spider Man because now Amazing Spider Man Peter Parker. Well, my question is: Does did this character exist before Ultimate Spider Man? No, no, they not exist. There before you Ultimate go. Spider Man. 
And yeah, neither did Miles Morales. Anyway, but like they they've sort of replaced the, the the character of Miles with Peter here. So now Miles is basically the surrogate Peter Parker, or well, Peter Parker is the surrogate uh, Miles Morales. Where Gonka is his best friend. But then they've also changed the name of the character to be a completely different character that also has a very different relationship with Peter. So it's like two levels of weirdness. Yeah, and the thing about the leads is that, like... Okay, here's my thing. I get they're wanting to diversify the, the, like, the main Homecoming cast. I'm actually okay with that for the most part. I don't mind if they decided to merge Harry Osborn and Gonka together because they're like, all right, these two characters, you know, one's traditionally always been this kind of, you know... James Franco esque, I guess, is what people remember him mostly as. So we're gonna combine him with Miles Morales' best friend, Gonke, and then we're gonna create an amalgamation character. Now it works for me. Ned Leeds is not a huge member of the Peter Parker cast. He's not. He's not like a, it's not like a huge deal in the comics where he's like another one of Peter Parker's best friends that like kind of works with him and then gets caught up in the whole thing. He's just a reporter for the Daily Beagle. He's very he's very briefly seen in the comics continuity. So it baffles me if they're going to choose an obscure character to make, you know, into this movie. Why not just name it Gonke? It's yeah. That why not just make character. him Gonke? Yeah, because they yeah they didn't change the character at all. He's still the same guy. Yeah, he's still the they same. They just changed guy. the name for some reason. <laughs> he's not even like he's not even like like the visual design. And everything is that he likes Legos. He's like, he's like overweight. He's not even a skinny Asian dude. And you're like, this is Ned Leeds. Or Ned Lee. It's pretty weird. The closest that they came is Ned Lee uh, in Spectacular Spider-Man, which who was like an Asian dude who also was a reporter for the Daily, uh, not yeah, um, Daily Beagle. I knew it's a Daily it's, Planet, but just it's really really strange, up. and it plays into a lot of the casting uncertainties with Spider-Man: Homecoming because there's still still the whole is Zendaya playing Mary Jane controversy, oh, I mean, and I'm I'm even more convinced than is ever she even that in the movie playing some version. Convinced. It may be a reimagining. What's yeah. going? Is she even in the movie? I mean, so, <coughs> she is yes. in the movie. Yes, M- Mary. Uh, yeah, Zendaya is is in the movie. She was in the trailer. She's the kind of the uh, the sloppy looking girl that's like, oh, you guys are losers. Ah, yeah. <laughs> The There's another room. new rumor going around that she's playing an interpretation of Mary Jane where her middle name is Jennifer. So Michelle she's MJ, Jennifer. But she's not Mary Jane. Michelle she's Jennifer? Michelle Jennifer <laughs> Watson. <laughs> she's still technically MJ that way. Oh, <laughs> without being that. the traditional Mary character. Jane I don't like that. Awful. Woman I love oh, okay, here's really the thing. The thing about Zendaya is that they obviously took someone with the like you know, who has been a model beforehand, and they turned her into like a kind of ugly duckling. You like, oh, this she just kind of looks okay. Uh, person in the movie in the trailer that we saw, she's obviously like you know dressing way way down, you know, like kind of like yeah. a the Princess Diaries kind of like way way down, you know. And then like they do the makeover, and it's like, oh, you were beautiful this entire time. And I mean, it's yeah. Spider Man Homecoming, so there's gonna be a homecoming dance probably. So. You know, oh, you can see Definitely. where this is going to be going. Yeah, pictures there's definitely going to be a of home that have already leaked. And also, oh, really? with that I said, know this. we we know that they are taking a lot of inspiration from like sort of classic teenage like movies, like The Breakfast Club. Mm-hmm. The Breakfast is Club, a specific one that they've called out. And I mean, one of the the cast photos they released officially, I think during um during the press Comic-Con, tour, yeah, during the Comic Con press tour. Yeah. Was uh, like a parody of the Breakfast Club uh, poster. Right. They ironically actually, they enough, that a lot. Actually, I have no idea what that movie is. Ironically enough, uh, Zendaya's character is doing the parody pose of the one character from the movie, The Breakfast Club. That is this basket case character who's sort of this like weird, ugly duckling freak character that everyone's like, I don't know how to approach this person. Only for at the end of the movie, that character gets prettied up, dolled up, and she's this really gorgeous drop dead person who's like, "Whoa, I can't believe we never saw it before." It's the whole like, Face this whole it, like, Tiger. "Oh, you look so beautiful without your glasses." Phenomenon yeah, thing that, exactly, that always right. happens. Yeah, so it, it, it's interesting enough. I'm pretty sure they're playing on that trope, and if so, I mean, it, every single Harry Potter played too. upon the trope. It didn't work in Harry Potter though in the movie. Because, yeah. like, like here's, here's the thing. In Harry Potter, it was, like, in the books, it's, like, Hermione's this ugly kind of duckling, and then well, she comes down. Emma Watson's, like, a naturally beautiful Right, exactly. Like, woman. she's supposed to, like, yeah. stun everybody. But it was like, oh, wow, Emma Watson's in a dress. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't realize how attractive she was until she wore a, a little bit of a fancier dress. 
and straightened her hair. Straightened or her hair or whatever. Yeah, no, nah, it was supposed it's to be like different. A, I mean, she goes yeah. out with like the number one sports star in the world of that. And I saw a lot of comments saying that uh, she's. A lot of people are convinced that she's not Mary Jane and that she is in fact Michelle Gonzalez yes. because of her personality. This I'm not convinced. True. I'm not convinced. Not convinced at all. at all. And the main uh, reason is because they option. casted her like that. <laughs> like this yeah. is what they're going with. They're wanting to pull the whole ugly ducking, the uh, ducking, duckling thing. <laughs> And so, no, it's not your day today, is it? <laughs> and if, if she no, was Michelle Gonzalez, it's, it's I just don't. I don't know why. I don't know why they wouldn't just go out and say yes that she's playing Michelle Gonzalez. Why are they keeping yeah, her, right, her exactly. character a secret? They're, they're they they're not coming out saying. I mean, they're pretty upfront that the other girl was Alan. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They they've announced last names for everyone. The reason why they haven't announced the last name, I feel, is they said it's Michelle Watson. Everyone's gonna be like, well, duh. Now we know who she's yeah. playing. So I feel like it's pretty, uh, pretty evident. It could here. surprise everybody, and it could just be a new character. <laughs> we did because we did we did talk about Mary Zendaya's Mary Jane. I think we've talked about it before in the podcast, but we're t- well, we're talking about it again now that like it is very likely she'll end up being this character. Um, Var, you did bring up a good point about the past Mary Janes. Yeah. Okay. So like right right now, it seems like a lot of the uh, the issues that people have with Zendaya playing Mary Jane is the culture shock of someone who is doesn't traditionally fit the description of the character as being Mary Jane, sort of. But I I, I feel like of the three people they've casted to play Mary Jane, assuming Zendaya does end up playing Mary Jane, between Kirsten Dunst and Shailene Woodley, I feel like Zendaya fits the actual like there interpretation has... of a mo- supermodel like girlfriend. Th- uh, like out of three of them, she's the b- better pick. Okay, it's tough because like the first Spider Man was like the first one of the first superhero movies of its kind, and therefore we didn't see a lot of complaining about it. But Mary Jane in that is not Mary Jane. The yeah, she's character. not. She's absolutely not. She's, she's not. She's not Mary Jane at all. She's the, she's she's this kind like, of like quirky Gwen girl Stacey, next door. Yeah, she's like Gwen, Gwen Stacy. But if she, Gwen Stacy wasn't smart, just kind of there. Um, just kind of there. Yeah. Uh, uh, she's the popular girl at school, I guess. That's one maybe. thing they've captured, maybe. But like, but like the, overall, her character is not like she wants to be an actress. That's not Mary Jane. Right. Mary Jane never wanted to be an actress. Um, yeah. W- with Mary Jane, the whole joke is that like Peter's aunt keeps trying to set him up with this girl, and he's like, "No, I don't want to be set up." With, he's like, he's trying to chase after like Liz he's Allen trying right to now. chase after Liz Allen. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And, and then this and whole then time, this whole time, right? And then and it's like, oh, she's a supermodel. Holy crap, she's gorgeous. Yeah, like the 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 joke is that this whole time he had this date like lined up for him, and he kept rejecting it to go after this one girl he thought was super attractive. Only to find out that the date he had lined up was way more of a bombshell right. for him, and, it's, it, and he should have just gone with it the whole time. It was a running joke in the comics before they introduced Mary Jane, like visually. It was like Peter Parker's like, "Man, my life sucks. I can't get a date. Why? Why does everything suck?" And his aunt's like, "Well, I have this girl." And he's like, "Thanks, Aunt May, but I'm gonna pass." And then it's like, "Oh, my life could have been way better had I just been like <laughs> yeah. listen to my aunt for one second. <laughs> it's a humorous thing that like Peter Parker keeps thinking his life sucks all the time, and then like he has this thing right there, and he's just ignoring it." Which is ironic because right now with the current movie, Homecoming, we have a Liz Allen character who he's clearly chasing exactly, after. And right. then there's this other character right next right, to them exactly. who's saying they're losers, who's this like ugly duckling character that they're ignoring. Oh, wait. By the end of the movie, they're going to realize she's actually the perfect girl. Yep. Okay, I mean, all right, let's, let's get this out of the way, too. It is a bit of a culture shock thing with Mary Jane. Uh, but I've, I've said beforehand, I feel like... Even though like, it can be possibly traced to like a bit of prejudice in people's parts that they don't want to see someone uh, who they're not used to being Mary Jane. But this has, this has happened with comic characters in the past, and people – there hasn't been an uproar. It's not just like a thing where like like a lot of comics fans can't take you know certain changes. The biggest example of this is Nick Fury. Nick Fury for about 60, 70 years was a white dude uh, with an eye patch that fought World War II. And the movies came out, and he's Samuel L. Jackson, and literally no one complains about it. No one's like, man, what? Yeah, Nick Fury? Like, Samuel yeah, no, Jackson. No one, yeah, like no one cares. Aquaman, same deal. Aquaman is now, uh, I think, a Hawaiian. You know, uh, Jason Momoa. I think he's Hawaiian. He's, he's very, ba- I mean, very different. Aquaman's a blonde dude in the comics. He's a, like a kind of an Aryan <laughs> in the comics, and he's and he's, he's an Jason Aryan. Momoa. Yeah, <laughs> he's Jason Momoa now. Nobody, no uproar about Aquaman changing. Um, I feel yeah. like. The, the culture shock is not because of, like, a skin color difference. A lot of people try to paint it as that. It's like people – I feel like, for instance, if they made Superman blonde, you would get the same reaction where people would be like, hey, no, this is a design thing. This is something that's, like, iconic about this character. I still – I'm going to give Zendaya a chance if she is Mary Jane. I don't, obviously, it's not confirmed. 
Um, but there, I do see the point where, like, I feel like Mary Jane's appearance is a is a huge deal for the comics. It, like, if Gwen Stacy was blonde or, or wasn't blonde, you know, if Gwen Stacy was like brunette or redhead, brunette, there would still yeah. be the the she kind of she has a very iconic. She's a very iconic that. look. Yeah, I was you gonna know? say very iconic. Right, and I, I do feel like Mary Jane's yeah. thing is the red hair, um, and I've red seen Zendaya hair. of red hair, and it hasn't worked for me so far. They might do it better for uh, uh, Homecoming, so we'll see how that goes. To be fair, I've only ever seen shops of it. That's true. So I don't know how it actually looked. Um, I don't know. I feel like of of the three that they have potentially casted as Mary Jane, she's that is, a better fit to, to me that's in fair. my head. No. She she fits more. Um, I agree. Then again, I just like rooting for the underdogs. So. No, no. Yeah. I mean, listen. Be there's job. been no. All fairness to Cheyenne Woodley, never saw her uh, in. <laughs> never fully saw now, her. Yeah, I feel kind of bad because the, the internet first. like immediately just pounced upon her, and, and this is never thing yeah. that happened too. It's not just like everything. They they also blasted Cheyenne Woodley, except she never got a chance to prove herself. So that's kind of sad. Yeah, very true. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we're all completely wrong, and she's actually not Mary Jane, and she ends up with Gonkins. I mean, Ned Leeds instead. Oh man, <laughs> I'm that just be done. interesting. Okay, and there's also a rumor that that one dude's Automaeus. Uh, I'm sorry, Automaeus. Come on, Amadeus Cho. Um, well, it's a multi, there's a multi-leveled rumor that Amadeus Cho is going to be in the movie, and it's a little convoluted because yeah. I think it's Martin Starr is the actor's name. I. Th- think and he was in incredible hulk playing some Which one? computer nerd dude There's only one who the novelization for that movie well, revealed to be two. amadeus cho and now they've confirmed that martin star is gonna be in this movie and people are like is he gonna be the same character this, this, this actually makes me angry because not only did they take a character, a white character from the comics, Ned Leeds, it's just a made him Gonke. I, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying that, like, if they do, because I don't know what's going on in this movie, apparently Ned Leeds is Gonke now, so, like, you know, I wouldn't put it past him. But, like, they decided to take this character, uh, who is Asian, everything but design, and change his name, for whatever reason, to a white guy, uh, like a, a ginger. And then they're like, oh, hey, there's this other really prominent, one of the most prominent Asian characters in Marvel. Let's make him white. Why not? Because... That'd be hilarious. It was like, why? What is going on with you? Why can't you just keep like, <laughs> like you make that leads? Like I make that leads white. I don't care. Or make Gonke Gonke. Or you know, and why would you whitewash Amadeus Cho when you're wanting to include diversity? And here is this prominent Asian <laughs> character, and you're not doing that. Why? The diver- the diversity thing is weird because like it, it's. I, I, this argument was presented a lot with uh, the casting of um, Zendaya as Mary Jane p- potentially. It's like, uh, obviously. You you want to diversify your cast mm-hmm. and like have characters. And I mean, you know, it's school are, and queens. That have various roles. It's a high school and the, queens. The, the, the thing, that, but it, to me, it's weird because like I would prefer as a black American to have actual characters that are black. You know, exactly. Not, not have a white character taken away and then made black to sort of accommodate me. Uh, that's yeah. the thing that it, it feels so like it's sort of like a shoehorn it. thing. It's like yeah. you have an Asian. This you have an, an Asian, Asian character. character. Why are you changing his name to be a white person? Why are you doing yeah. that? Why are you taking Amadeus Cho and making him white? Like Amadeus Cho is very clearly no white person has the last name Cho. All right, come on, let's be real here. <laughs> this dude, what's his name? <laughs> uh, Matt, Matt Martin Starr. I knew he's Matt yeah. Bragg. <laughs> Martin Starr? It's probably, he's probably not Amadeus Cho, because I doubt you know, the movie I mean, novelizations are reliable sources. I mean, fair enough. Know. I'm just saying that's like, you know, why? Why, why would you it's do weird. this? It's really well, weird. The yeah. thing is, is that you want someone to relate to, right? So it's just, it's kind of like upsetting to a few people. Like, not heartbreaking, but it's kind of like, oh, kind of thing. When someone changes, even if it's a background thing, if they, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a female character, if they made... I know Wonder Woman or Catwoman a man. I don't know why they do that, but let's just Cat say man. they did. There is then, a man. Like, exist. Of... I know. Wait, does it? Yeah, yep. he's yeah. actually really? been Interesting. released. Yeah. See, like, yep. and and if you say he's I was not, he's not Wonder of, like... Woman though. He's a very different character. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If it was like just a change of gender and like everything else right. was the same, it'd be like you wouldn't be on that amount. Gender of... swap level of relation as a as a female yeah. I would not have that amount of level and it's kind of like people say oh but that's kind of shallow don't you think it's like well yeah but it doesn't stop people from feeling that way well I mean the thing the thing again that gets me about it is not the fact that they're including diversity in the Spider-Man Homecoming cast I'm I can no, see why I they're like doing that. that I actually like that my thing is that I they like changed a character's name 
to a white guy for literally no reason. I would be okay if he was Harry Osborn. That makes sense to me. They're trying to consolidate both characters, and they're trying to be like, you know, okay, cool. But he's not. Ned Leeds is, a, is, I would say, on the same level of, like, kind of recognizability that Gonke is, in the sense that, like, if you're a comics person, you could recognize the name Ned Leeds, and you're probably, you might recognize the name Gonke, too, because, like, you know, they're now in the same universe. So it's a thing where it's like, if you're going to do an obscure Spider-Man character, you know, that audiences aren't going to remember, why not make him Gonke? Why, go, why make him Ned Leeds? Or if you want him to eventually become Hobgoblin, make him Harry Osborn. Harry, Harry Osborn makes sense. Audiences know who Harry Osborn is. So if they said, oh, yeah. this is Harry, well, that's different, but okay. You know, he's supposed to yeah. be his best friend. I just, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me at all. I don't know the rationale behind it. I, except I, don't, I don't understand it either. I just had an idea. Maybe they're just oh, trying oh, whoa, to whoa, diverse whoa, whoa, them. Whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe they're just trying to diverse themselves from the previous films. Well, yeah, of course they're trying to do that. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Yeah. What if Michelle, the reason why they're not releasing her last name, is because it's not Michelle Watson, it's Michelle Osborne, and her first name is Harriet, and she hates it, so she goes by her middle name, Michelle, and she's Harriet Osborne. It's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah is, so is Michelle Jennifer, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I was like, yeah. I, I would be It'd be weird fine. to have both Gonke and Harry Osborne, though. I mean, Harriet Osborne. I would, I could deal with that revelation. I guess. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe she's com- a completely new character named Michelle. I, you know, I would be okay, totally okay. fine. With I would be. That. I if would that be, is actually how, how it is, it, awesome. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay with. I that. just don't think that it is how they're playing it. I, I'm just. I'm. You know, diversity for diversity sake. Sake. Oh, yeah, it's just like why? Different. Why are you focusing so much on the the arbitrary number of characters? Like the arbitrary amount of diverse characters we can fit into a movie, rather than just making good. Diverse characters. characters, right? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, it's it's, <laughs> it's weird. Because they're trying to push. It is. It's that it's super idea. weird. There's some things you can change. Again, I'm behind the Samuel Jackson change for Nick Fury. That makes a lot of sense to me. You know, like, um, and Aquaman is also a great choice because I I I think Aquaman's like you know just lame but in the it comics. It doesn't really change anything. Yeah. It, it, like, it, it, it doesn't just, change anything. Um, like except Nick Fury still acts like Nick Fury. I feel like there's well, some characters where it's like. Well, kind of not. He's more like Samuel Jackson and an eye patch. Let's well, be kind yeah, of real. But it works though. Yeah, it works. I mean, it, Sam, it, it, I mean, it only works because comic. it only works because Nick Fury is not a beloved character. No right. one cares about Nick Fury outside of comic maker, to, uh, comic. To readers. be honest, right. until I saw the movies and read up a little bit after, I did not know Nick Fury was a thing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Never heard of him. There, there's Never a great exchange I, when uh, I did from universe. I did from playing. All right. When uh, Peter comes over to like the the real Peter Parker comes over to like the Ultimate Universe and he talks to Nick Fury and Nick Fury's like, "Hey, do you have a Nick Fury in your world?" He's like, "Yeah." It's like, "What does he like?" "Oh, well, he's white." Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> that's the exact exchange <laughs> they have. I was just saying, um, oh, I knew that Nick was originally a white dude from playing Ultimate Alliance, but yeah. I mean, yeah. to be fair, it we know that when they originally did the Ultimate version of the character, they were specifically basing him off of Samuel L. Jackson's look. Yeah, yeah, they did. And in fact, that was the deal. They asked Samuel L. Jackson, said, "Can we base this character off you?" He said, "Only if I get to play him in the movies." And we said, and they were like, "Sure." That would be so. And cool. that's where we have Nick Fury today. Yeah, yeah. So it came up. Let's can I talk about the vulture? Because I really like the vulture. Okay. All right, let's talk about Vulture's the vulture. Vulture's cool. Cool dude. Vulture is. I don't know cool. anything about the vulture in the comics whatsoever. Vulture he's be, he's is. Villain. I mean, he's Adrian Toomes. He's, be a one note he's, villain. he's an old dude that was fired. He's from an his old company. dude. Yeah, he steals stuff. He steals people's youth, is what I understand. Um, that's a huh. modern yeah. edition. I yeah, feel. Yeah, that's a. In the original comics, like the original appearance, that wasn't it. He was just like a thief that had a jetpack. Yeah. Well, I've seen pictures of old Vulture, and I gotta say, I like okay. the new direction they went. Oh with. boy, old Vulture is a is a design, a very Vulture, interesting design. He looks like he, evil Falcon. With he's like a the yeah Falcon tech. Yeah. He's a very dated design. I I personally really like Vulture Vulture's character uh, or like his design at least c- compared to people like Shocker or you know other weird uh, like of the original Spider Man roster. I feel like his design works for a comic book. I just. I don't know how it would work or transition into real life if they tried to make it comic accurate. So I, I'm really yeah. happy with the uh, the outcome that they ended up going mm-hmm. with. I feel like it's a it's a good way of modernizing it and also making it work for a cinema experience. Um, totally. It is. Yeah, definitely, I don't know. I like Vulture. It's definitely one of those like 
a balance you need to take with uh, with paying attention to your uh, ho like the source material. Like Spider Man's costume is pure comic goodness in this one. He has the, the like the Ramita eyes. He has the web wings. You know, it's really uh, paying a lot of attention to the original comics. And then in comparison, Vulture is completely redesigned, and I feel like that works. You know, like yeah. here I'm gonna post this, this picture. <laughs> so that's the old vulture. Um, it's basically a green bodysuit oh, with like wings, me. and it's this bald dude, and he has like a, I guess, I don't know, a fur neck, fur, fur necklace, fur, yeah, fur collar. That's yeah. great, man. I, yeah. I, I, I need to get a Spider-Man suit, dress up for that as Halloween. That would be so. I fun. dressed up as Spider-Man for Halloween one year, black suit Spider-Man. Did you really? That was a thing. Um, I did, despite so never sense. seeing anything related yeah, to Black to Suit Spider-Man or Spider-Man 3 or having any knowledge whatsoever <laughs> of Spider-Man as a character. I did. did you have, like, an emo comb-over mess, though? Oh, man. Uh, you gotta see down the street, I want, I want to wait. I did have it at one point, but I, I, not like, at that I really point. want to see you see Spider-Man 3. I feel like you'll be really... It'll really Find interest you. Spirit. <laughs> that scene in Spider-Man 3. See, I just I like how oversized his wings are. <laughs> yeah, they look <laughs> that good. Works. Well, in the in the later like versions, later designs of the character, he also has huge wings. This is a version of him from uh, Love Is Shadows, a Spider-Man video game. Um, mm. Yeah, he's gone through a lot of different iterations. I think uh, the one the one they went with is definitely a good cine uh, cinematic version of it, though. Mm. I feel like uh, that's the best way to make it work. Some things just don't translate well in the movie, and you gotta be okay with that. And I'm yeah completely okay with uh, the way the vulture turned out. I feel like the the closest... my question for people that know about the vulture: what are the odds of him being a memorable Marvel villain? Not very high. I mean, wait, you cut what? out. What was that? A memorable Marvel. What are villain. the odds of him being a memorable Marvel villain? Also? Not really. Uh, I mean, it's a Marvel not... movie. Yeah. It's unlikely. It's very yeah. unlikely. I mean, like, okay, the, no, the thing man. that I'm gonna like, hedge my bets. Spider-Man does have a lot of great be... villains. I feel like Sony what? is. Hold up. What? I, I think he's say? gonna be memorable. I think he's gonna be really, really? good. Fair enough. He might, Michael Keaton's a good actor. Seen but I mean, okay, so I'm is ready. like Christopher Eccleston, and she was, and he was, um, who was his name? What's his name? Malkith. Casilius. No, Wait, you're thinking no, Mads. Mads. No, yeah, Jamie Fox. He's usually okay in in the movies he's in. Yeah, well, that. I mean, that was a Sony movie. I'm saying that, like, Ma Marvel does have a history of taking really good actors and then, like, underutilizing them. Making yeah, them not yeah. really memorable. Yeah. It's Matt based Houston's on the writing Hannibal, in that part. I feel like... Yeah. But the thing about Spider-Man villains is that, like, the best villains I feel they're building up to. Norman Osborn is going to be a fantastic villain, and he's not there for obvious reasons. You know, um, I feel like he's going to be introduced Norman in Osborn two Norman Osborn was such a great villain in the Amazing Spider-Man franchise. I'll probably oh, yeah. kill him off again in MCU. <laughs> nah, they they are gonna have the Green Goblin. They have to if they, if this movie's successful, if it gets rave reviews, if it's the one Spider-Man movie that's good in recent memory. You know, like that's they both critically sequel, and like so. monetarily good, and also the star power of RDJ is gonna definitely help that out a lot. That's where they're pushing that. Because if this is good, then Sony's gonna be like, okay, you guys can play around with the universe. We'll we'll make it happen. We'll fund the movie. You guys direct it. Um, and then it's part of your universe. You get to use Spider-Man in all your movies, um, and we get to collab with you of this universe and make that happen. They've already announced the sequel, so Homecoming Two hype. That is not going to be Homecoming Two. <laughs> <It's Spider -Man laughs> what's another name for it? What's uh, what's like Homecoming White? Prom Night. <laughs> Prom Night. <laughs> Spider-Man, Sadie Spider Hawkins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Graduation day. I, I I think um depending on how they handle Vulture, he'll he'll I mean he's probably gonna be really cool, but the thing is about Vulture has never really been he's been a main Spider Man foe, but he's never really been like a problem, even in the comics. He's always been kind of played for laughs in the comics mm -hmm. and the animations Mostly. and all the cartoons. Same thing of him, him and both him and Shocker, they're like kind of joke villains for the most part, and they're both the main villains of this movie. So. Shocker especially. Shocker is definitely Shocker's my favorite though. Shocker's always played for laughs. Always played Dude, for laughs. Dude, I remember getting stuck on his boss level on Enter Electro 2. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. That's a and great it's like you, you have to beat him that. before the fire gets to the fuel tanks, otherwise mm -hmm. it's game over. Mm -hmm. And I just ended up, like, rolling. That's all I kept doing is I kept rolling over and over again because he couldn't get I don't think I ever that. beat Enter Electro. I don't think I did I, either. I got to I got to the laboratory part, and there's like it's the laboratory's locked. You have to somehow like climb around this cylinder type thing, but 
There's like the electricity like going round so. in this Mysterio cylinder. Mysterio um, was the first one, I think. The first one, okay. I'm getting. Yeah, I played a lot of Spider-Man I, I games. They all kind of blur together. I remember uh, the one I played the most was Spider-Man Two, the video game. Which I one? also cried. Yeah, that was a good. That's a classic. That's a game classic. Right there. That was one of the first like real open world games I played. I was like, this is just incredible. The they New have York, never been able to capture the magic of that they, game. They, they so have which not. one? Spider Man Two, the video game. I never played that one. I, I played yeah, the. I played it. it was oh gosh, what was fantastic. that first one? It was, it was the, the best. Was the beginning the intro. It has like Carnage and Doc Ock at the very end. That that Spider Man uh, PS2 yeah. game the, that was yeah. the first one. Uh, Inter Electra is the sequel to that like, one. Right. Okay, but I never that played that 90... one, but I definitely played the the PS2. Uh, Spider-Man yeah, game. yeah. That was. I remember uh, that game. I, I beat that, that one. That was a lot of fun. I, well, yeah, I, I remember. It Stan, it had Stan Lee like narrating yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 They were, okay, the one, um, the Ultimate Spider Man. I also played too the comic one. It was like it was based off the Ultimate. Uh, uh I didn't really like Ultimate Spider Man. I just okay. okay. I remember there's you can go to the top of the Empire State Building by swinging around in Spider Man, and there's also a great move that you can unlock where you will like pile drive someone. You'll jump up and you'll like flip upside down and basically like push their head into the ground as you fall. Oh, I did this so many times. So I would go to the top yeah. of the Empire State. Oh, building. dude, I did that too. Yeah, and they're like, hey, they're like, and they're like, dude, it's and just like a like, pile drive, pile like, drive the Empire State. The Empire State building, oh my like, god, ground. It was like a huge drop. It was and the his, most brutal thing ever. <laughs> And like Spider-Man would like jump up, like it was perfectly Wait, fine. Did you, okay, did you guys ever do it where like you did the thing where you, you know, have you ever done the thing where you hit him with your feet and you know it sends him down, but then you can yank him back up to you? Yeah, you can yank him back. And you to do it you again. And yeah. just keep, going keep back getting again. air mm-hmm. this way. You can literally get like twice the height of the Empire State Building, and then then you just drop. I don't know if I got twice the height. I would go about like just a little higher than the Empire State Building using that. I wasn't a really skilled gamer back then. To where I could just. Like, Meanwhile, I, like, I haven't eight, played any nine. Spider-Man game. I played that game. Of course, mess up. Yeah, but you also haven't done anything. So. Ouch! Big surprise. But true. Yeah, what is something you've done? Been on a podcast. What is something you've done that we didn't like? Make you do? I've done Play Titanfall something. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Play Titanfall too. Oh uh, boy. I got sure uh, didn't make me do that. I got stuck. Yeah, we sure didn't make you waste your money <laughs> on that. Um, the Madhouse of Science, it's called, and that's the cylinder thing that yeah. you can see the thumbnail right now. But like, I think oh I had to get gosh, stuck in this so uh, this level for a long time. I kept getting electrocuted and falling to my death. It was really, really upsetting to me. Well, <laughs> Plus, the I'm Sandman really tra- well, you didn't even see like, Star was really Wars hard as well. Man. I don't even know what... You are correct. I, what have you really done that was like a thing that most people should do? Uh, you, you saw Harry Potter. I do not know. As a kid, right? Yeah, okay. Harry Potter was my yeah. jam and my youth. The three big facets in my youth were Bionicle, Harry Potter, and Yu-Gi-Oh. But what about So Pokemon? limited. <laughs> I didn't I get into Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon until I was 17. You you added another one to the list like the other day, too. You are like, the four things in my life. It was life. Pokemon. We were like, Pokemon. all right, I guess I was somewhat into Pokemon because I was named Blaziken 1110 and then I got into YouTube, but <laughs> it was never my main passion. <laughs> anyway. Well... It's getting close to wrap up time oh for this week's episode of TV. Oh, wow. But before we do, uh, I would like to, because this episode's coming out on Monday, which means tomorrow is the day. Yes. <laughs> that we've all been waiting for. Yes. Build a little last second hype. Okay. Seriously, guys. Tomorrow is the recap finale. You need to watch it. It is. Shouldn't I- it be more sad? Well, a lot of people are because a lot of people have been kind of giving their condolences for the end uh, for the 2010 recap, the overview, because technically that's the official review. As it stands right now, I'm the only singular person in the world to have completely reviewed all canon Bionicle sets from Generation 1. And TTV Uh currently holds the largest review database for Bionicle sets as a result. Fantastic um, stuff. Yeah. And the recap tomorrow, the finale, which comes out at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It has all the Bionicle sets from Generation 1, the canon ones at least. Not, not No play sets, none of those promotional good guys, bad guys, and no combo no models. Gold good guy. Uh, gold good guys well, there, gold yeah. Good did guys. you do exclusives too? Like canon exclusives? I don't think you did those, right? Like, like Lesovic and yeah, Ernak? Yeah, I like yeah, yes. and Yeah. I reviewed um, them. Okay. The stipulation was that they have to have, like, 
merit as being an actual set. Like they have to have exclusive parts. Okay, all right, or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, but so, no. Like, d- did you review Doom and uh? uh Doom? No, because they had optional p- pieces. Okay, all right. Yeah. So Traga but, Doom. Sorry. Oh, oh, Traga Doom. Yeah, I reviewed Traga Doom, not Ultimate Doom. But that's, yeah, that's anyway. what I meant. I was talking about Ultimate yeah. Doom, but like the the character Traga Doom. Yeah. Traga, Traga Doom. Yeah, I reviewed him, <laughs> but. It is the finale, all of my uncle sets in one place. I'm. This is the most proud I've ever been of any video ever. I think you guys are gonna really like it. Please, please watch it. It's it's really it's, good. I'll put it this way: you don't want to miss it. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> Tune in. It's gonna be. It is it's gonna be something. It, I else. mean, like, oh, let's put it We're gonna have a lot to talk about. Right right it's all the like every my uncle said. Number one, it's like all the Bionicles ever. Two, it's like, I think even though it is kind of sad that the recaps are ending, they're not really ending as much as they are being complete. Like, you have... Yeah, you've, exactly. Like, the thing is that, like, it's not like the, like the like on eBay today where people are like, oh, there's always more stuff to do. Oh, it's there's over. Literally it. like you can't do anything eBay. more. You know, you, you've reached you the end. you reviewed the Bionicles. all the Bionicles. So, yeah. in a sense, even though it is sad it's ending, you still have done what you set out to do. It's complete. It's not like I, stopping for I've done reason. what no one else has ever actually done on their own like I, when I started the reviews four years ago I was watching Legomation Studios reviews and he, he was my inspiration not because they were great reviews the opposite in fact but it's really <laughs> a <laughs> shade I'm sorry when you sit there and say that Exotoa was released with Tahu Mata in the same box I have a problem <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But I did it. I'm I'm pretty proud of that. I managed to review them all. Fantastic. Do you have any last second words for the fans? Anything they can expect? Any last minute hype? Tune in for the finale tomorrow. Tune in for the live stream next week. We're going to be having another Minecraft game weekend this month. And um, more details on that soon. All right. Absolutely fantastic. Well... Thank you all very much Whoa. for listening to the TTV Podcast, episode 225. Rip Generation 3. <laughs> yeah, we will We will talk about Generation 3 oh, of man. Bionicle next week, oh, yeah. I promise. And then, we're going to think we're talking that. about like a legitimate Generation 3. No, we're just going to do a hypothetical thing. It's not that exciting, guys. Don't worry about it. It's not really. I just like it's just going to start way to squeeze out a few more weeks of Bionicle <laughs> talk. <laughs> Basically what it is. But... Uh, you all enjoy it, so stay tuned. Share your thoughts on this episode and all of our other content on the TTV message boards at board.ttvchannel.com. And please consider checking us out on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the TTV channel for 24 hour early access to all of our podcast audio if you pay $3 a month. And once again, stay tuned for we have more perks coming. So much more hopefully perks. I'm so month. excited to see people get these. It's going to be a pretty neat launch when it actually happens. So, that being said, Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next week. I'm Mesa. I'm Vardaran. I'm LJ. I'm Jonathan. I'm Fweffy. I'm Takuma And I'm Tenebrain Vigdis. And farewell, everybody. Farewell. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.